everybody, General 305, back again, another sneaker review video for y'all. And today I have a really dope shoe for y'all to look at. I was really excited when I saw this colorway coming out. These are the Midnight Navy Jordan 4s. Now this shoe comes out, I believe, October 1st. I'm almost positive it's October 1st this shoe releases. It's coming up on us very, very quickly. So we gotta be quick. We gotta get these reviews out so you can see what we working with, all right? Before I jump into the review and get started, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video, share the video, all those good things that everybody else says in their videos, please do that here. It really helps the channel grow. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates. You'll see my Reels page. I put some shoes up that you might've seen me review and some that you might not have seen me review. It's got some music up there and all that. Nice little vibe, so go check that out as well. And make sure you guys follow us in the discord the link is in the description go to the description and follow us there we have a really really good community in there we try to help everybody find shoes where the cops all that stuff we will help you in the discord we trade kicks between each other all those good things so make sure you guys follow there so i'm not going to spend too much time on this joint but i really want to bring this one to you guys because when i saw this shoe it really reminded me of another shoe and it reminded me of the jordan 4 white cements yes the the infamous, the, one of the greatest shoes ever made, the white cement fours, super dope. And this is essentially the same shoe. We just don't have Nike Air on the back and all of the black spots are navy. So really, really, really dope. I think a lot of people will like this shoe. This will be a general release. So everybody's gonna be able to at least have a chance to get a pair. But for the most part, this shoe is essentially the same. All right, so let's jump right into it. I don't want to spend too much time talking. So what we have here is an all white upper, very, very nice leather on this upper, and it's tumbled leather. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love my tumbled leather. Y'all know how I get down. The leather is tumbled and it's really nice as opposed to the white cements. It's more of a flatter leather with like a nice little grain, but this is tumbled and it's really, really nice tumbled leather, nice and soft. No complaints here when it comes to the leather. So very nice. We do have those hints of cement, but the beautiful thing about this shoe is all the speckles on the cement, instead of it being black, it's blue speckles. So like the white cements, we, we looking at the same type of vibes. You feel me? I like this wing. I like the blue waffles on the wings. It looks really good. The toe box is very, very nice. You guys can see that. We got a nice tumble on that toe box. So nothing to complain about there. And the toe box height right here is really, really nice. I like how it's not too boxy. Now, could it be a little bit more curved? Yes, but it's not too boxy and it does look good. The midsole has that, that cement vibe. And then right here, you have that blue instead of the black. So very, very nice here. The cage is white. Looks good there. The air unit is also white in the air unit. The bottom of the shoe also has those really nice blue hits with that red. Now, if you change this to black, like we said, we got the original, okay? We do have an Air Jordan Jumpman logo, but we don't have the Nike Air. It kind of sucks that it's not a Nike Air. I really do wish there was a Nike Air on these. It would look really, really nice. Heel tab of the shoe is the Jumpman right there, and it looks pretty good. It looks like we got a little bit of a blemish right here it looks like this me something may have rubbed against these but we do have this right here and that is just a speckle behind his head it's not misshaped or anything right there it's just a speckle if you guys can see that so very very nice the tab is nice and rigid we got some rigid vibes there medial side of the shoe just looks just like the lateral side of the shoe you really can see that tumbled leather popping out it really looks cool laces going up the shoe are white there were no extra laces with this shoe i think they wanted to keep it as original as possible so they kept it true to form up to the tag which we have our blue when in the original it was red he was a red jump man but right here they made him blue and they have flight right here which is nice and i think that looks pretty good behind the tongue we have our air jordan right here and it's stitched pretty well it's a little off but you know that really doesn't bother me standard shoe tree comes with these joints insole of the shoe is navy and that looks really really good it's one of those newer style insoles 
it feels like a polyurethane, but it's not. This is kind of like a coated foam. Oh, this is the dream cell insole. So we have a dream cell insole in here. So not bad, it's okay. Nice and comfortable, but not the greatest. I mean, I think the polyurethane insole is a little bit more comfortable than these, but this will do for this shoe. So overall, we have a really, really dope spin on an original colorway. I'm cool with that. I really like it. I think they did a really good job with these. Now, are there gonna be some changes? I'm not sure. This is an early look, but I just wanted to bring it to y'all. So if I had to rate it on construction and materials, I think construction and materials, they did a very good job on these. I think these are clean, but there were a couple lines under the black light. So, you know, you kind of got to ding them for that. So I'll give it about an eight for construction and materials. In terms of the colorway, clean. Super clean colorway, no complaints there. I'll give it a nine for colorway. I wish it had Nike Air on the back, but it doesn't. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. And that's all I got for this one, y'all. So I hope it was informative for you guys. I hope this helps you make a decision when these joints come out October 1st. Make sure you guys are ready because we got some heat dropping at the end of the year, all right? And that's all I got. So you guys stay humble, you guys stay blessed, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.